Hello, I'm Cresta Cowell and I'm the author of the Hush Train Dragon books and the Waterstones Children's Laureate. And I was thrilled to be on the judging panel, to be part of the judging pan panel for Book Trust Storytime Prize. And it was really tricky to choose the shortlist, so I'm very glad that you guys are going to be choosing the actual winner. I'll introduce you to the books on the shortlist. There was such a great range and these are all wonderful books, I think, to read aloud. The first one is I Am A Tiger by Carl Newson and illustrated by Ross Collins. I think that this one is going to be heaven to read aloud because the mouse is always saying, I'm a tiger, I'm a tiger. And I think that children will really love that. They'll, they'll love knowing that the mouse isn't a tiger because so often children are wrong about stuff or being told stuff by the adults and um, so this will really tickle their sense of humour they'll be able to say no the mouse isn't a tiger I think that'll be really good fun to read. The second one is B is for Baby by Atin UK um, and uh, illustrated by Angela Brooksbank. I I think we all love this one because of the stunning illustrations and the really simple but lovely gentle story um, uh, that I could show you them all, but look at this beautiful illustration of the baobab tree um, uh, with the little bice of the kid in the bicycle um, there. This was just so beautifully, beautifully done. Um, and I think it, it really made me want to go to Africa. I think this will be a really lovely one to read aloud. B is for butterfly, B is for bird, B is for beautiful, B is for bananas. I think the child will love that when the baby is discovered in the basket of bananas. That's a beautiful one. The third one was My Hair, written by Hannah Lee and illustrated by Alan Fatimaharan. And this was a very joyful book. I loved, I loved the illustration again, and I think children will absolutely adore the crazy hairstyles in this book. Um, it was very, it was very empathetic. It was a lovely, lovely book to, to read aloud. Very empathetic, beautifully designed. Um, I, I, I think that's going to be a, a lovely one to share. Um, go, go, pirate boat was the fourth one. This is so tricky to choose. Go, go, pirate boat by, um, boat by Katrina Sharman and um, uh, text by Katrina Sharman and illustrated by Nick Sharrett. Uh, Nick Sharrett's illustrations are always wonderfully um, uh, direct and children really love um, those illustrations. Um, it, it's again, it's a little lovely rhyme to it. Go, go, pirate boat across the salty sea. Raise the anchor, hoist the sail. It's a pirate's life for me. Uh, we were trying to look for books that were, were fun to read aloud and, and this is definitely one of them. Splash, splash, splash the wave. Wait, rock us side to side, grab the ropes and hold on tight. What a bumpy ride. I, I can see people enjoying reading that one. Aloud with kids. The, the fifth one was uh, This Is Owl by Libby Walden and Jackie, illustrated by Jackie Lee. Um, this was a, a, a really imaginative and unusual one, I felt. Um, that I would have really enjoyed. I loved um, how clever it was that there wasn't much, um, there wasn't like, sort of, it, there was a few lift the flaps here, um, but it was more about the interaction through the words. This is Owl. Owl, wake up. Try tickling Owl's tummy to wake Owl up. And I thought that when children are very little, um, the interaction side of things um, is, is a way in for them. Um, as a way for into them for the for the story, um, but this but often if you've got too many flaps and too many things to to pull, the kid um, destroys the book. <laughs> so I thought this was lovely um, uh, way around that problem. Um, it's really beautiful, simple illustrations of the owl's eyes, and um, a lot of these the illustrations would be so lovely to share. Um, with a little one. And the last one was One, Two, Three, Do the Dinosaur uh, by Michelle Robinson, text by Michelle Robinson and illustrated by Rosalind Birch, Beardshaw. 
Uh, and this lovely rhyming text, beautiful illustrations. I love the little kid in the dinosaur suit. Um, chomp, 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 let's do the dinosaur. One, two, three, and everybody roar. This would be lots of fun to read and share um, with a small kid. And I can see them wanting this to read this one again, again, and again. We'll stomp and swish and stomp and uh, uh we'll, we'll chomp and swish and stomp and uh oh, everybody stop. Um, I loved little details also how a little kid has its own little cuddly dinosaur. So that's the short list. As I say, I just, I'm so glad I don't have to choose. It's a, it was a really, really strong list of books to choose from. And um, I hope you enjoy reading them aloud.